symphony of a thousand miles starts from beneath one's feet as the their greatest journey begins in the most prestigious beauty pageant in the country. Beanie Beating Pilipinas 2007, live at the Araneta Coliseum on March 3, Saturday, 7 p.m. Telecast at 9.30 p.m. exclusively on GMA. I'm Giona Carrera and I'm watching a beauty pageant up close, really close, as in backstage where all the action is. Candidates running all over the place to change their clothes, take their cues, and whisper their prayers. What could be more exciting than this? Nothing can be more exciting than what unfolds before your very eyes right now. Good evening, I'm Miriam Kiambao. Join me live at the Big Dome in the Araneta Center, Quezon City for the search for Bini Bini Filipinas 2007.
ladies and gentlemen, welcome the 30 official candidates to the 2000 search for the country's most beautiful Beanie Beanie Filipinas. Hi, I'm Rika Marie Anvil Chan Sailor, 22, from Quezon City. I am your Capuso Eileen Luna, 17 years old. I am Abigail Leslie Rivas Cruz, 22 years old. My name is Nicole Maturan Schmidt, 18. My name is Melissa Cruz and I'm 23 years old. From Paranaque City, 19, I'm Suzanne Tabita Mendoza. From one of the historical places of the Philippines, Bataan, I'm Heidi Forbes. From the province of the Fierce Balisong, I am Kimberly Buhay, 20 years old. I am Ana Teresa Luis Licaros, 22 years old. Ako si Theophilus Marincheros Francisco, 24 na taong guna. Hi, my name is Margaret Wilson, 17, from the City of Smiles, Bacolod. From the Asia's Latin City, Zamboanga, Miliama Melanie Ajarani, 21 years old. I am Luisa Villanueva Beltran, 20 years old, from the growing economic zone of the Philippines, Subic. Imagine Lee Shen de la Cruz Shami, 19 years old. I'm Ed Perlin Javier Quintero, 23 years old. A 19-year-old delegate from the shoe capital of the Philippines, Marquina City. My name is Erica Ibasco Fame. I am Paulette Quinto, 25 years old, from the pristine beaches of Barakay. I am Jamie Burgos, 21 years old, from the city of Las Piñas. I am Quaid Gallo Torian, 22 years old. I am Grazilda Enid Semundo Adelantar, 19 years old. I am Kian Alonso Malyari, 20 years old. My name is Sheila Alonso, and I proudly represent Tumaguete City, Negros Oriental. From the land of Durian, Davao City. I'm Pernice Dutatalum, 23 years old. My name is Izel Verses, 22, from the city of Pine, Baguio. My name is Maria Eloy Salimbo, and I am 22 years old. From the Bicol region, City of Springs, Iriga, I'm Angeline Fernandez Tucho. I'm Contessa Maria Labio Santos, 23 years old. I am Mirto Panchas Bugarin, 21 years old. I am Almira Ramos, from the land of Sweet Mangoes, Zambales. My name is Patricia Francisco, 21, from the island of Leyte. Ladies and gentlemen, a royal welcome to their exquisite loveliness, Bilibini Filipinas 2006. Filipinas International, Daniel Lu Balmonte. Filipinas Filipinas Universe, Leah Andrea Ramos. And Filipinas Filipinas World, Anna Maurice Ekbit. of beautiful Filipinas, our candidates for Filipinas 2007.
Here now are tonight's hosts. Please welcome Mr. Paolo Bidonis and Raymond Gutierrez. Good evening, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is the 43rd Bini Bini Filipinas. Good evening, Raymond. Ladies, excellent. Good job. A round of applause, please, for our lovely candidates. This is the most prestigious beauty pageant in the country. So join us as we search for the nation's most beautiful Filipina. That's right. Good evening, Paolo, and good evening, Araneta. Make sure you stick around for one exciting night here on Bini Bini Filipinas 2007. Filipinas 2007 is presented to you by Bidibining Filipinas Charities Incorporated in cooperation with GMA Network Incorporated. And if you enjoy the opening number that has been brought to us, beautiful choreography by Alvin, uh, Alvin Alves. And the Binibining Pilipinas has been brought to you by Binibining Pilipinas Charities Incorporated, GMA Network, and Watsons. Now, if you saw the video earlier, I have been watching these 30 energetic young women. And I can see that they are trying to conquer one of the hurdles of being a candidate for the title of Binibining Pilipinas. And I'm talking about the demanding task of getting ready for tonight's coronation. And um, from what I just saw, each of these ladies has what it takes to survive and become a beauty queen who will follow the lead of Gloria Diaz or Margie Moran, who first put the beauty, the Philippines in the beauty map in 1973. Up next, who will follow, um, who will follow Miss International of uh, after Precious Lara Kigaman and follow the examples of Gemma Cruz, Aurora P. Juan, and Melanie Marquez. And finally, who will become the Philippines' first Miss World? Definitely our country is not wanting of beautiful women, as Paolo Bidionas will prove to you tonight. Thank you, Miriam. Of course, you did us proud when you joined the Miss Universe pageant yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, the swimsuit competition is one of two major segments in our pageant. 
Here, our lovely candidates will be judged according to beauty of face and figure. So without further ado, here are our first 15 candidates in their official swimwear. Candidate number one, Rika Marie Taylor. Rika is 22, stands 5 feet 6 inches, and weighs 114 pounds. Her figure, 34, 24, 34 and a half. We now have candidate number two, Eileen Luna. She's 17 years old, 5 feet 6 inches tall, and weighs 126 pounds. Her measurements, 34, 26 and a half, 36. Our next candidate is Abigail Leslie Cruz. She is 22 years old, stands 5 feet, 6 and a half inches tall. She tips the scales at 118 pounds. Her figure, 33, 24, 35. Candidate number four is Nicole Schmidt. She's 18 years old, 5 feet 8 inches tall, and weighs 112 pounds. She measures 33, 23, 33. Coming up is candidate number five, 23-year-old Melissa Cruz. Melissa is five foot seven. Weighs 117 pounds. Her vital statistics are 34, 25, 34. Next on your TV screen is candidate number six, Suzanne Tabitha Mendoza. She's 19 years old, stands 5 feet 8, and weighs 115 pounds. Suzanne's body figure is 33, 26, 35. Taking center stage is candidate number seven, Haiti Flores. She's 23 years old, stands 5 feet 6, and weighs 111 pounds. Haiti sticks the tape at 34, 25, 35. Breathing life on our stage with her presence is number eight, Kimberly Puhai. Kim is 20 years old, 5 feet 7 inches tall, and weighs 114 pounds. Her measurements are 34, 24, 35. Coming up now is candidate number nine, 22 year old Ana Teresa Licaros. Anna is 5 foot 9 and weighs 116 pounds. Her body figure, 33, 25, 34. Candidate number 10 is next, and she is Theophilis Marie Francisco. Standing 5 foot 9, Theophilis tips the scales at 115 pounds. Her vital statistics are 31. 25, 35. Margaret Wilson comes up on your screens now as candidate number 11. She's 17 years old, stands 5 feet 9 and a half inches tall, and weighs 122 pounds. Her figure, 34, 24, 35. Approaching our cameras now is candidate number 12, Melanie Adjarani. She is 21 years old, very tall at 5 foot 10, with a body weight of 125 pounds. Her measurements are 34, 25, 35. Number 13 is next, and she is 20 year old Luisa Beltran. Luisa is 5 foot 9 and weighs 130 pounds. Her body figure, 34, 24, 35. Our 
our next candidate, 18 year old Nadia Li Shen Shami. Nadia is 5 feet 9 and a half inches tall and weighs 134 pounds. Her measurements are 35, 25, 36. And our last candidate for this batch is number 15, Edford Lynn Quintero. Edford is 22 years old. Her height, 5 feet 9 inches, and her weight, 121 pounds. She takes the tape at 33, 24, 35. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A round of applause, please, for our first 15 candidates in their official swimwear. That's just the beginning because batch number two is coming up. But in the meantime, let's find out what's happening backstage with Jonah. Thank you, Paolo. Our next 15 candidates in their swimsuits are ready to kick their heels, waiting on the wings. And I must tell you how wonderful these ladies are. As our choreographer, Andy Alvis, would attest to, these ladies are very professional in the way they move and take their cues. So ladies, how are you feeling right now? Um, very excited and I just can't wait to come out. I'm sure that excitement will bubble up once you're on stage. Are you ready for this portion? So ready. That's fabulous. Oh my gosh. I wonder who Miss Photogenic will be. That's something really to get excited about at the conclusion of our swimsuit competition. Welcome back, folks. You're watching the 43rd Binibini Filipinas. If you just joined us, you're ready for the next batch of candidates in their official swimwear. This is the swimsuit competition. Starting with candidate number 16, Erika Pangan. She is 19 years old, stands 5 feet 9 and a half inches tall, and weighs 120 pounds. Her vital statistics are 33, 23, 34. Coming up next is candidate number 17, Paulette Quinto. She's 25 years old, with a height of 5 feet 11 and a half inches, and a weight of 118 pounds. Her figure, 34, 24, 34. Approaching our cameras is candidate number 18, 21 year old, Jamie Burgos. Jamie is 5 foot 9 and a half. Weighs 131 pounds. Her body measurements, 35, 25, 35. Our next candidate is number 19, 22-year-old, Clade Corion. She's 5 feet, 8 and a half inches tall. Weighs 122 pounds. Vital stats, 33, 24, 35. Candidate number 20 is next on our stage. And she is 19 year old Benezilda Inis Adelantal. She stands 5 foot 9 and weighs 121 pounds. Her figure 35, 24, 35. Coming up is candidate number 21, Kian Maliari. She is 20 years old, stands 5 feet 9 and a half inches and weighs 112 pounds. She ticks the tape at 34, 25, 34. On your screen now is the figure of candidate number 22, Sheila Margaret Alonso. Sheila is 22 years old, five feet eight and a half inches tall and weighs 123 pounds. On tape, she registers 34, 25, 34. 
Candidate number 23 is Bernice Ututalun. She's 23 years old, stands 5 feet 8 and a half inches tall, and weighs 116 pounds. Her measurement, 34, 25, 35. Take a look now at Lizelle Verses, candidate number 24. Lizelle here is 22 years old, stands 5 feet 7 and a half inches tall, and weighs 115 pounds. Her body figure, 34, 23, 34. In focus right now is candidate number 25. Maria Eloisa Limpo. Eloisa is 22 years old, stands 5 feet 7 and a half inches, and weighs 112 pounds. Her vital stats, 33, 24, 34. <laughs> Candidate number 26 is next, and it is 22 year old, Angeline Fusho. Angeline is 5 feet 7 and a half inches tall and weighs 124 pounds and measures 34, 25, 34. Our next candidate is number 27, Miss Contessa Marie Santos. She is 23 years old, stands 5 feet 7 inches tall and weighs 114 pounds. Her measurements 33 and a half, 25, 35. Coming up now is candidate number 28, Myrtle Frances Bugadin. She's 21 years old, stands 5 feet 7 and a half inches, and weighs 120 pounds. Her vital statistics are 34, 23, 34. Let's all watch out now for candidate number 29, Almira Ramos. Almira is 23 years old, with a height of 5 feet 8 inches, and body weight of 118 pounds. Her body figure, 33, 25, 34. And finally, we have our last candidate, number 30, Miss Patricia Francisco. Patricia is 21 years old, 5 feet 6 and a half inches tall, and weighs 120 pounds. Her vital stats, 36, 25, 35 and a half. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our second batch in their official swimwear. And that concludes our swimsuit competition. How about a round of applause for all of our lovely candidates? For the past two weeks, our lovely ladies have been hard at work. But of course, they work hard, but they also play. And watch how they have fun. Fun, fun, and more fun. That was the order of the day for Binibining Pilipinas 2007 candidates at Graceland Estates and Country Club in Tayabas, Quezon. A perfect pre-Valentine treat for the ladies by pageant organizers. First things first, a courtesy call to Mayor Severina Nadres of Tayabas, who gladly welcomed the girls by showing off the city's history through its museum, a visit to a distillery which marks the city's step towards industry and technology, and a breeze through old churches, where some candidates may 
may have whispered a prayer to make their dreams come true on pageant night. At playtime, the ladies took turns at target shooting, horseback riding, kayaking, beach volleyball, tennis, and golf, as if there was all the time in the world to spare in one day. They swam to their heart's delight, some of them earning a golden tan set off by a giant bonfire as their hectic day came to a close. Here at Graceland Estates and Country Club, the candidates were ordinary mortals, laughing together, sharing stories, letting their hair down, losing themselves in the warm embraces of newfound friends. Coronation night for Binibining Pilipinas was just a flicker in the dark. Welcome back and watching Binibining Pilipinas 2007. If you just join us, we finished the swimsuit competition, and before we announce the best in swimsuit, we'd like to present one special award, and this is called the Miss Photogenic Award. The Miss Photogenic Award goes to the candidate who garnered the highest score during the pre-judging by our judges. Beauty of Face is the category where this candidate won, and she shall be going home with 20,000 pesos in cash, a very sleek Canon camera, and 20,000 worth of wardrobe from Cumbia at the Gateway Mall. And with me, of course, Suki Nami sa SGV, Sir Lito Montes. My hands are shaking. Miss Photogenic for the 2007 Filipino Filipinas beauty pageant is candidate number 11. Margaret Wilson. Presenting the award to Margaret Wilson, Miss Photogenic is Bini Bini Filipinas 2004, Margaret Ann Bayon, with Mr. World Philippines 2007, Emmanuel Mago. Congratulations, candidate number 11. We have another special award to give away, and this is called the Manila Bulletin Reader's Choice. Now, our winner won in a poll that was random by Manila Bulletin among its subscribers. Now, the winner will be getting 20,000 pesos worth of gift certificates plus one year subscription to the Manila Bulletin, Sense and Style, and Cruising Magazine. Sir Lito, the envelope, please. Manila Bulletin Reader's Choice for 2007 is candidate number 27, Miss Contessa Marie Santos. Presenting the award to Contessa Marie Santos, Manila Bulletin Reader's Choice are Miss Madet Kunaran, Public Relations Manager of Manila Bulletin, and Mr. Barbie Atenza, External Affairs Head of Manila Bulletin. Congratulations to the two of you. May you please join your colleagues as we announce the best in swimsuit. The winner of the best in swimsuit award will be going home with 20,000 worth of wardrobe from Cumbia available at the Gateway Mall. Mr. Lito? Bakit palang nanginginig ang kamay mo? Best in swimsuit for the 2007 Filipino Filipinas beauty pageant is candidate number three, Abigail Leslie Cruz. Presenting the award to Abigail Leslie Cruz, the best in swimsuit is Filipino Filipinas World 2003, Mafe Yunon and Mr. Emmanuel Mago. Congratulations to our best in 
swimsuit winner candidate number three, Abigail Leslie Cruz. Now that's what I call a real ace for a beauty candidate. The best in swimsuit carries a heavyweight in judging tonight's winners. And who knows, anybody, any of these women still has a chance to get it to the top 12 because the next big step for them to hurdle is the long gown competition. We will, we will be back right here at the search for Bini Bini Pilipinas 2007. Don't go away. Welcome back, folks. You're watching BDB and 2007. And at this point, it is time for us to introduce our distinguished board of judges, who, Raymond, we do not envy their job. Yes, but they're all looking very, very good tonight. Of course, yes. of course. So let's introduce them one by one. Let's start out with... Philippine showbiz's action superstar and male lead of GMA's Adventure Soap, Asian Treasures, Mr. Robin Padilla. Versatile actor, celebrity endorser, and lead star of GMA's drama series Muli, Mr. Alfred Vargas. <laughs> Anchor of GMA's news program, Saksi, and host of Wish Kulang, multi-awarded broadcast journalist, Vicky Morales. <laughs> Food and beverage manager of the newly rebranded Sofitel Philippine Plaza Manila, Mr. Mo Isan. President of the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industries, Mr. Sammy C. Lim. The young and energetic president and CEO of the Bank of the Philippine Islands, Mr. Aurelio R. Montinola III. Accomplished actress and Miss World's Second Princess 1993, Miss Rufa Gutierrez Pectas. Popular TV host and Miss Universe 1994 finalist, Miss Charlene Gonzalez Mula. <laughs> the ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary of Japan, His Excellency Yuchiro Yamazaki. <laughs> Our very own Miss International 2005, Precious Lara Kigaman. And our chairman of the board of judges, the secretary of the Department of Education, the Honorable Jesse A. Lapus. Yes, good evening to our judges. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the highlight of every Binibining Filipinas beauty pageant is a day dedicated to charity. This is when the girls bond with children from orphanages to make them feel that beauty is just not in the eyes, it's in the heart. Let's watch. Binibining Filipinas beauty pageant was conceived with a big heart. More than just a search for the country's fairest, it is a project to raise funds for the less fortunate. BPCI, Binibining Filipinas Charities Incorporated, founded by Stella Marquez de Araneta, donates its earnings from the beauty pageant to orphanages in Metro Manila and daycare centers under the care of DSWD, the Department of Social Welfare and Development. As a charitable organization, it has established training centers and provided educational workshops to out-of-school youth to make them earn a decent living. With enough funds, BPCI even responds to emergencies by aiding victims of natural calamities at relief centers. Binibining Filipinas 2007 candidates and last year's pageant winners entertain children from the wings of DSWD and older kids from the Sisters of Charity at the Time Zone Arcade of the Gateway Mall, Araneta Center in Quezon City. On hand also was Emmanuel Mago, recently named Mr. World Philippines, who gamely played with the children and helped the ladies in distributing gifts and food for the little ones. Anyone who has ever joined the beauty pageant feels that Charity Day is the highlight of her Binibining Filipinas experience. To those who believe that beauty is just a passing fancy, think again. Binibining Filipinas is a commitment to share oneself with others, to be responsible for the future of our nation's children.
You've seen their charity work, now it's time to meet them one by one, the people behind the heart and success of Bini Bini Filipinas throughout the years. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to introduce to you the members of the Executive Committee of Bini Bini Filipinas Charities Incorporated. We have Chairperson, Madam Stella Marquez de Araneta. Good evening, ma'am. We have co-vice chairperson, Jose Pitoy Moreno, who served as fashion consultant for Binibining Filipinas. Good evening, sir. And Mr. Manny M. Atacador. Good evening, sir. Also members of the executive committee are co-vice chairperson, Ms. Conchitina Sevilla Bernardo, and Mr. Raul T. Alvarez. Good evening to all of you. Good evening. You know, Raymond, for the past 40 years, or over 40 years, the Binibini Filipinas has produced many a Filipina who have brought pride and honor to the country. That's true. And, and I see a lot of them here tonight. Exactly. We are indeed honored to be graced by their presence. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a round of applause as we acknowledge the past winners of the Binibini Filipinas. All of whom can actually take a place on stage right now. Yes, they all look as ravishing as ever. Good evening to you, ladies. Thank you for sharing your time and for lending your support to the Bidibian Filipinas and to all of our candidates. All right, so um, guys, I think we've introduced everyone mm -hmm. here at the Araneta, so it's time to go back to our reigning beauty queens, the Binibining Filipinas 2006, to share with us what our lucky winners will take home tonight. Check it out. The winners of Binibining Filipinas bring home the title and prestige of being the most beautiful Filipina. Representing the Philippines and Japan for the Miss International Beauty Pageant in another country that is being decided for Miss Universe and in Poland for Miss World. Yes, how wonderful it is to feel on top of the world. Because every woman dreams of fame and fortune. And Binibining Filipinas makes it all possible. Binibining Pilipinas is a dream come true with 250,000 pesos worth of management contract for each of the three winning candidates. As a woman of substance, she also gets to fly with style with all the comforts and amenities aboard the nation's flag carrier to her international destination. And for the lady who likes to pamper herself with the best beauty products, each of our winners will receive gift packs from Everbelena. Binibining Pilipinas, the lady on the go, will definitely love to maintain her perfect figure while keeping her spirit up with the finest energy drinks from Bacchus. The runner-ups to the Binibining Pilipinas title will also take home a bounty of prizes. Aside from 75,000 pesos worth of management contract with Binibining Pilipinas, they will receive gift packs from pageant sponsors. Don't you just love this beautiful feeling of winning all these prizes? I do, because these prizes are well-earned and well-deserved. By the woman who embodies the best of the Filipina, beauty of mind, body, and spirit. Beauty that is the envy of the world. Binibining Filipinas! Welcome to the Long Gown Competition here at the Binibining Filipinas 2007. And just to add a bit of drama while our candidates walk on stage, they will be accompanied by our Asian music instrumentalists. Having said that, let's begin with candidate number one, Rika Marie Taylor. Number three, Abigail Leslie Cruz.
largest candidate, number five, Melissa Cruz. Number seven, Haiti Forbes. Here comes candidate number eight, Kimberly Buai. Candidate number nine, Ana Teresa Licaro. Make way for candidate number ten, Yo Feliz Marie Francisco.
largest candidates in their long gowns as they take their final pose in front of our judges. Thank you, ladies. There you go. There's 15 more candidates waiting backstage. But once again, thank you, ladies. You all look fresh and wonderful, which is completely beyond me, knowing how hectic their schedules have been. Actually, one of the more grueling parts of the pageant was the pre-judging phase and the formal presentation to the press. Let's take a look at what happened there. years ago I was in the same situation as these girls and I can imagine how nervous they are with questions in their mind like is my gown all right what about my hair and oh my gosh I'm losing another pair of shoe well that's part of this whole Bini Bini experience anyway here we have candidate number nine candidate come candidate number ten so how are you feeling in this exquisite ensemble well, I feel really, really good because, you know, I like the color red, I like the cut, I like the style, I like the beading. It's really wonderful. And the music back there, it's really, really, it would really make you feel like you're a queen. So it's very, very nice. It's a good feeling. Well, you look very radiant, Misty. And I'm happy that this is another part that you'll be participating in. I remember our mistress, Dick, telling me, remember, it's not the gown, honey. It's how you carry it. In, um, so that's a tip for the lady who will be best in long gown, and I hope that someone special will grab it tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Giona, for all your insights backstage. Ladies and gentlemen, the long gown competition continues here at the Bini Bini Filipinas 2007. So what are we waiting for? Let's call in candidate number 16, Erica Pangas. <laughs> Number 17, Polet Quinto. Here comes candidate number 18, Jamie Borgo. Make way 
for candidate number 21, Kian Maliari. Here is candidate number 22, Sheila Margreta. Number 26, Angeline Tuso. Here is candidate number 27, Contessa Marie Santos. Number 28 is Myrtle Francis Fugari. In her long gown is candidate number 29, Almira Ramos. Francisco. Our judges take a look at you one last time in your beautiful long gowns. They will have a hard time tonight. 
And while our judges make their final scores, let's check out some other activities our candidates were busy with while preparing for this pageant. Check it out. Welcome back to the BB Filipinas 2007, and the excitement is unbelievable. Let me hear it. <laughs> wow. Joining me right here on stage as we announce a couple more special awards is a lady who garnered a couple of special awards during her stint at BB Filipinas Universe 2005, Jonah Cabrera. Jonah, you look fantastic. Thank you, Paolo, for your kind introduction. <laughs> I'm very happy to be sharing this limelight with you now. Like I said, you look gorgeous. Pwede, pwede ka talaga dyan uh, sa mga ladies natin. Ladies and gentlemen, as Paolo has just mentioned, we will be announcing the winners of special awards that are being given by our valuable sponsors for this pageant. True. So let's start out with our first award, and this is called the Miss Bacchus Energy Drink. This is given to the candidate who possesses the winning form an unflinching spirit of a real beauty queen. Of course, our winner gets to take home 25,000 pesos in cash, aside from a year's bounty of Bacchus products. Excellent. Of course, with us is Mr. Lito Montez from the SGV with the envelope. Mr. Lito? Bagong, bagong tax ba yan? <laughs> Miss Bacchus for the 2007 Binibini Filipinas Beauty Pageant is candidate number... Candidate number nine, Miss Ana Teresa Licaro. Presenting the award to Miss Bacchus Energy Drink are the president and CEO of Dong Ah Pharma, Mr. Eamon Say and Mr. Shung Won Jung. Congratulations, candidate number nine. That's a big check. Our next award. Our next candidate who will take her place on the winner's block is a recipient of Miss Ever Belena Award. This distinction is given by Ever Belena to the candidate who possesses the refreshing and flawless face that never fails to make heads turn. She will receive 20,000 pesos in cash and a year's supply of the best beauty products from Ever Belena. Fantastic prizes. Sir Lito, the envelope, please. Miss Ever Belena in the 2007 Bini Bini Filipinas beauty pageant is candidate number 11, Margaret Wilson. Presenting the award to Miss Ever Belena are Ever Belena's Nino Mas and Christine Gabriel, Business Development Manager of Ever Belena. Next, we have Watson's Woman Award. Mm. This is given by Watson to the candidate who best represents the exquisite charm and grace reflective of Watson's beauty products. The winner will receive 50,000 pesos in cash 
and 50,000 pesos worth of products from Watson's. Wow. Sir, the envelope, please. I ripped it. Watson's Woman Award for the 2007 Filipina Filipinas Beauty Pageant is... Candidate number... Once again, we have candidate number nine. Presenting the awards in this Watson's Woman are Mafe Yunon and Mr. Trish Iyer, Managing Director of Watson's Philippines. You're okay, huh? Yes. It's like going to the gym. We have more special awards to give away? Okay. Our next award is a Watson style icon. The winner will receive 50,000 pesos in cash and 50,000 pesos worth of products from Watson's. All right. Watson style icon. This candidate number 11, Margaret Wilson. Presenting the award to Miss Watson style icon are Margaret Ann Bayot and Mr. Bobby Saneo, marketing manager of Watson's. Congratulations once again, candidate number 11. Yes, if she wins any more awards, we will not be able to see her. Thank you. Thank you for uh, easing their burden there a bit of those great, great prizes. We have another special award to give away, and this is called Miss Philippine Airlines. Our next special award is for Miss Philippine Airlines. This award by Philippine Airlines to the candidate who best reflects the distinctive beauty and prestige of our country's flag carrier. Miss Philippine Airlines will receive two first class tickets on any PAL online international route. Here we go, let's find out. Miss Philippine Airlines 2007 for the Binibi Filipinas Beauty Pageant is candidate number Number nine. Presenting the award to Miss Philippine Airlines are Ms. Maria Socorro Gonzaga, Senior Assistant Vice President for External Affairs of PAL, and Mr. Jose Enriquez Perez de Tagle, Assistant Vice President for Government Affairs, External Affairs of Philippine Airlines. And we have yet more awards to give away for this evening. And let's find out if we'll be calling on a new candidate. This one is called Miss Natasha. This is the last of our special awards for this evening. This award is given by Natasha, the country's leading name in women's fashion and accessories, to the candidate who best represents the brand's distinctive class and style. The winning candidate will receive 10,000 pesos in cash and another 10,000 pesos worth of Natasha products. And the envelope, please. I want to keep myself in suspense as well, so I cover it. Miss Natasha for the 2007 Binibia Filipinas Beauty Pageant is candidate number... Nine! Presenting the award to Miss Natasha are Miss Jocelyn Guerrero, Senior Sales Manager of Natasha and Merchandising Manager, Henry Sapaulan. There you have it, 
our first batch, or our second batch of special awards for tonight. Let's give them a round of applause, all of our candidates, candidates number 11 and 9. Congratulations to all of you ladies. We have many more surprises coming up for you right here for the BDB Filipinas 2007. Please stay right there. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Binibining Pilipinas is not just a contest of beauty and grace, but it also highlights our candidates' special skills and talents as what they did at the activity center of the Alley Mall, where not only did they delight our judges, but shoppers as well. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of the talent competition. <laughs> Gentlemen, our second runner-up for Miss Talent will receive 5,000 pesos worth of wardrobe from Cumbia. And our first runner-up will receive 10,000 pesos worth of wardrobe. And they are... Our second runner-up is candidate number 19, Miss... Clay Torreon. Miss Talent first runner up is candidate number 29, Miss Almira Ramos. And here it is, our Miss Talent for the Binibining Filipinas 2007, who will receive 20,000 pesos worth of wardrobe from Cumbia at the Gateway Mall is... Candidate number 22, Miss Sheila Alonso. Presenting the award to Miss Talent are Mafe Yunon Velasco and Emmanuel Mago. another special award for the evening and this is the one that the candidates voted on themselves I'm talking about Miss Friendship all right who will also receive 20,000 pesos worth of wardrobe from Cumbia and the candidate that received the most number of votes from her colleagues is candidate number 12. candidate number 12 Miss Melanie Adjarani Presenting the award to Miss Friendship are Karen Agustin, Bidibining Filipinas 2002, with Emmanuel Mago. Congratulations now, ladies. You may now rejoin your colleagues because I'm about to announce the best in long gown who will also receive 20,000 pesos worth of wardrobe from Cumbia at the Gateway Mall. And our best in long gown for the Binibining Filipinas 2007 is... Wow. 
candidate number 24, Miss Lizelle Versus. Presenting the award for the best in long gown are Miss International 2005, Precious Lara Kikaman with Mr. Pitoy Moreno. Congratulations to our lovely Beanie Beanies who just romped away with our special awards. And of course, we'd like to acknowledge uh, the best in long gown. We have candidate number 24, Miss Lizelle Versus. Congratulations to you. And incidentally, I'd like to say Kumbia Boutique for the fabulous gowns that I've been wearing tonight. The gripping announcement of our finalists is coming up when Beanie Beanie Filipinas 2007 returns. <laughs> Thanks for watching BB Filipinas 2007, and the excitement is unbelievable right here at the Alaneta. Before we announce our top 12, these are our finalists. We shall be giving away a special award called the Smart Texter's Choice Award. Now, this award is very special because it goes to that candidate who will automatically be part of the top 12. And in the event that her name is not included in the top 12, we shall have 13 finalists. So now I'd like to ask for our representative from SGV, Sir Lito Montes, to hand me the envelope for the Smart Texter's Choice Award. Our winner will be getting a trendy Nokia phone unit from Smart. And this was a contest that was conducted among the millions of subscribers of Smart Communications. And once again, this is our first finalist. Candidate number 15, Ed Berlin Quintero. Presenting the award to Miss Smart Texas Choice are Anne Margaret Mayot and Emmanuel Mago. Before we continue, we'd like, of course, to say thank you to one of our presenters, Watson's, your personal care store. Thank you so much, Watson, for supporting the Bini Bini Pilipinas 2007. Here we go, our top 12. This is very crucial because we shall find out if we will have 12 finalists or 13. So listen up. Let's start off with candidate number 21, Kian Magliari. Immediately add to the list, candidate number 26, Angeline Cusho. Taking the next spot, we have candidate number 13, Luisa Beltran. Continue with candidate number 10, Theophilis Marie Francisco. <laughs> Moving right along, let's call in candidate number 18, Jamie Burgos. Let's see who's going to join our lovely ladies. It's none other than candidate number four, Nicole Schmidt. Wow. You ladies look 
absolutely gorgeous. And let's find out who will be our seven finalists. Well, it says here it's candidate number 14, Nadia Licenciani. Keep on smiling, candidate number three, Abigail Leslie Cruz. The remaining names include candidate number nine, Ana Teresa Licaros. One more beauty to the list is candidate number 12, Melanie Ajarani. We'd also like to include candidate number... What? 11, Margaret Wilson. right here on stage. Give them a round of applause, please, audience. <laughs> Guess what? I think we have one more name here. There's a lot of... Uh, Let's call on candidate number 24, Lizelle Vences. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You have your 12 top finalists. And we, of course, will include our Smart Texter's Choice winner, candidate number 15, Ed Perlin Quintero. A round of applause. Here are your 13 finalists for the BB Filipinas for 2007.
Folks, this is opportunity our ladies will have tonight to be able to show our judges that they do have beauty and brains combined. So I'll call the candidates one by one. They'll be choosing a name of a judge. And of course, our judges will be asking questions to our candidates. So ladies, good luck. Here we go. Let's start out with candidate number 21, Kian Malyari. Kian, good evening. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm feeling cold and I'm a little bit nervous, but I try not to be. You're a bit cold. I give you my jacket, but then you would be in a swimsuit. So Kian, please choose a judge. You chose Miss Precious Lala Kigaman. Good evening, Kian. My question is, if you win this pageant tonight, what will be the one thing that you will not do tomorrow? If I will win the pageant tonight, what I wouldn't do tomorrow is I wouldn't eat a lot because I would like to maintain my figure. That would be all. Thank you. Excellent. Kian, thank you so much. Let's bring on in candidate number 26, Angeline Cusho. Hello, Angeline, and how are you this evening? I'm doing fine, but really, I'm so stunned. I, I have a question. Who are these people who are cheering for you? Well, some of them are my high school friends. They came all the way from Bicol to watch me here tonight. I'm really very thankful for all of you. That's a pretty big high school. What high school is this? The University of St. Anthony in Iriga City. Well, go ahead. Choose a judge. Wow. You chose Miss Rufa Gutierrez Bectas. If you had a choice about having your birthday on another month, what month would it be and why? Okay, if I will be given the chance to choose a date or a month for my birthday, that would definitely be December. Well, that would obviously, because we all know that December is a very warm month. Yes, it is cold, but then we feel each one's heart because of Christmas. I'd so allowed to celebrate my birthday with Jesus. Thank you so much, candidate number 26. I wouldn't choose December, because if I chose December, it means iisa lang ang regalo sa akin. <laughs> Let's bring on in our next candidate. Number 13, Luisa Beltran. <laughs> Luisa, how are you? I'm fine. My muscles are aching from smiling, but I can't stop smiling because I'm so happy right now. Well, you definitely should be happy having made it this far. Please choose any of a judge. Another lovely lady, Miss Vicky Morales. Hi, Luisa. Hello. Hello. Your question is, if movie and sports personalities can run for public office, should beauty queens do the same, and would you? Um, that's a very good question. Um, I think that beauty queens should are able to run for public office if they have the right knowledge and the right courage and leadership to pursue in politics. Thank you. Thank you so much, Luisa. Let's bring on in candidate number 10, Theophilis Marie Francisco. <laughs> Making her way slowly down the center. What is your nickname? My nickname is Misty. Misty. All right, Misty, it says that you know three languages. What are these languages? Um, I speak English and then Filipino, and I can be conversant in Spanish also. <laughs> Hola a todos, buenas noches. Uh, me, me siento super, super bien, super fe, estoy muy feliz hoy, porque está, estoy, estoy aquí en this, and este es bueno, 
Vamos a ver. Excellent. I will translate. She said, no, I'm kidding. Go ahead, please choose the name of a judge. You chose the Honorable Jesley A. Lapus, sir. Looking dapper in that tuxedo. Hi, Misty. Hello, sir. Here's your question. Okay. Which among these three gadgets would you would best describe you? Okay. A cellular phone, a computer, or a television set? Okay. Why? Thank you so much, Honorable Lapos. For me, I could say that I'm more of a personal computer because I'm very multifaceted. I do a lot of things. I process a lot of things. And computers do just that. So I'd be mo most represented by a personal computer. Thank you. And if personal computers look like you, where is the shop? Thank you so much. The judges at this point are scratching their heads. They have no idea how to go about their judging. Let's bring on the candidate number nine, uh, 18, rather, Jamie Burgos. And Jamie, what was the first thought that entered your mind when I announced your number? The first thought was, wow, I'm finally here. Like this, it's been a dream come true. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you so much. Please use the name of a judge. Okay. You chose His Excellency Yuchiro Yamazaki. Sir, good evening. This is my question. In raising the children, do you think that the husband's decision should always prevail over that of the wife's? I know that you're not married and you don't have any children yet, but that's my question. Well, based on my experience growing up, I think that both the father and the mother should have a say to how to raise their children. Um, it can't be just one person trying to work things out. It has to be both of them to work out a relationship and a family. Thank you. I do believe our judge is pleased with your answer. Excellent. Thank you so much. Candidate number 18. Let's bring candidate number four to the center, Nicole Schmidt. Nicole, you seem to have a lot of fans. Do you have any message for them? I just really want to thank you for coming here tonight. You don't know how much it means to me. It's helping me so much, so thank you. Please choose the name of a judge. You chose Ms. Charlene Gonzalez Mulak. Hello, Nicole. Okay, my question is, what is your greatest fear and what have you done to overcome it? My greatest fear is actually having regret. In anyone's life, it doesn't benefit them if they're gonna regret something. So what I do to combat that is that I just make sure that everything I do, it's because I want to do it. I don't do something with any doubts in my mind. I do it with sureness and I'm, I'm very confident in myself. And in that way, that is how I combat that. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our first part of the question and answer. A round of applause, please. Let me hear it for these lovely ladies. Like we told you, we have a great batch this year, beauty and brains combined. And when we return, the second batch of lovely ladies, our finalists right here, BB Filipina 2007. We'll be right back. Welcome back here on the 2007 Binibinin Filipinas Beauty Pageant. Now, before we continue with our question and answer portion, we would like to thank some of our sponsors. GMA7 would like to thank Rejoice Shampoo, Myra E. Facial Moisturizer, Fitzroom L. Carnitine and Green Tea Extract, Cream Silk Conditioner, and of course, one of our presenters this evening, Watson's Your Personal Care Store. Let's give our sponsors a round of applause, please, for making this event possible. 
And now moving on with the question and answer portion, starting off with candidate number 14, Nadia Li Shen Shami. Good evening to you. Good evening. Now I heard you're a local radio announcer. Sample naman, how would you greet your listeners? Okay, people, welcome to Binibini Filipinas 2007. Check your time now. It's 10 o'clock. This is brought to you by our sponsors. Thank you. Wow, I would listen to that. All right, please pick a judge. And you got Mr. Mo Ishan, Executive Assistant Manager at the Sofitel Hotel. Uh, good evening, Nadia. Good uh, evening. Uh, if you had a chance uh, to study another language, what would it be and why? Well, this is quite um, emotional. Since I was two years old, my mom and dad separated. So I wanted to learn the language of Arabic. Because someday soon, I want to see him and go to Jordan. I want to talk to him and ask him things. Why did it happen? I miss him so much. And I wanted to feel how, how it feels like to have a father. Again, I would like to learn Arabic. That's all. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, candidate number 14. Now let's call on candidate number three, Abigail Leslie Cruz. Looking gorgeous in her swimsuit. Let me ask you this. What's your favorite outdoor activity, if you were to choose one? It would be Muay Thai. Muay Thai? I should be scared. Enjoy see Mr. Robin Padilla don. Bakit Muay Thai? Because I would train for Muay Thai. I have a one-on-one -on -one trainer. That's why I got this swimsuit body. Watch out for her. All right, please pick a judge. And you got Mr. Sammy Lim. Good evening, Abigail. Good evening, sir. Um, in the last 40 days during the uh, pageant, what is the most important lesson that you learn? Thank you so much for that question. In the last 40 days that I have um, been with the girls during the pageant, what I've learned most is to be humble. Not all of us have that humility, not, have, not all of us have that humble heart, but being with all these 29 beautiful girls has taught me to appreciate them more appreciate and love my own skin and also in return love the girls that have been a part of my life for the past 40 days thank you thank you candidate number three up next may we call on candidate number nine Ana Teresa Licaros Congratulations on winning all those special awards. Now, I read that you're a law student. Why join Binibining Pilipinas when you can continue studying law? Well, I believe I can have both. I think that law students can do whatever they put their minds into, and it's not necessarily just codal or reading the law. You can also join a beauty pageant and do very, very well. Well, good luck on getting the best of both worlds. You may choose a judge. And you got Mr. Aurelio Montenola III. Good evening, sir. Good evening. If you were to choose between your crown and your love life, which would you choose and why? That's a very tough question. I'm being put on the spot. But if I had to choose, I think I would have to choose the crown. Precisely because it is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity I believe that I will be able to reach out and touch more people to be of greater service should I achieve the crown. And I am very confident that my love life will be there once the crown is no longer on my head and I've passed it on. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, candidate number nine. Up next, may we call on candidate number 12, Melanie Adjarani. You're looking mighty fine in your swimsuit. I'll ask you this, how do you keep fit? Keep fit, keeping fit, well, usually it's because of the diet and the exercise, but most of all, it's feeling good about yourself, feeling spiritually healthy, social, social, physical, and the most important is that spiritually healthy. Because it. it comes out naturally. It comes from within. All right, please choose a judge. And you got from Asian Treasures, Miss Robin Padilla. Magandang gabi sa iyo, Binibini. Buenas noches también contigo, oh. señorito. Uh, ako'y Tagalog. <laughs> Nang kayo po ay matuto. Ang aking uh, katanungan ay uh, pwede mong sagutin ng English o sagutin ng Tagalog. Pwede ko rin itanong sa iyo ng English Pwede ko rin itanong ng Tagalog, hindi Espanyol. Ano sa palagay mo ang gusto mo? Your choice, pero pwede ko rin i-translate sa inyo ng Tsabakano. Wow! We'll do that later, okay? Okay, ang, ang aking katanungan, my question is from the bottom of my heart. Okay? If ever you win, and become the Binibining Pilipinas, what do you think you can do to teach the Filipino, young Filipino, the youth specifically, <laughs> that the love for the motherland is the true treasure of every nation? Tatagalogin ko. Okay na? Tagalogin ko. Hindi. Sagutin mo na, magandang binibini. Thank you for that question, Mr. Robin Padilla. In Spanish. <laughs> Dito yung question kumigo. No, I was kidding. Um, teach the youth about the motherland of her country. Well, um, I believe this time that... Um, the youth is very important because they are the constituents of our society in the future, in the next generation. So, in taking good care of our mother, motherland or country Philippines, I can be of an advocate so as to relate to children or to reach out to children the importance of education. I want to stress out about the education because that is how they would be able to realize or perceive the real, um, the real meaning of taking good care of our motherland. That would be all. Thank you, candidate number 12, and thank you, Mr. Robin Padilla, for the entertainment value of your question. Up next, we have candidate number 11, Margaret Wilson. Hi, Maggie. How are you enjoying your time here in Binibining, Pilipinas? Oh, it's been really tiring, but I've learned so much, and I've, I've just enjoyed this experience. All right, please choose a judge. Mr. Alfred Vargas. Hello? My question is very simple. What is the one thing that you cannot live without and why? The one thing I cannot live without is my, is my family. Because my family, no matter what happens, they will always be there for me. People come and go, but my family will always be there. So I cannot, I cannot live without them, no matter what happens. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number 11, Margaret Wilson. Let's call on candidate number 24, Lizelle Versus. Congrats for winning best in long gown. How do you feel tonight? Um, I'm quite nervous. And you? 
I'm doing very well. You don't look nervous at all. You conceal it well. All right, so um, we have run out of judges, so I'll give the floor to Miss Rufa Gutierrez Bektash for another question. Hi. I'd like to ask you, where is the right place for a woman? At home, at work, or somewhere else? Okay. Well, I believe that women nowadays are multidimensional. They are not only in the home, but as well as at work. They are very assertive and competitive. They can be part with the rest of the women in the world and be a globally competitive. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number 24. Now let's call on candidate number 15, Ed for Lynn Quintero. May I ask you, are you nervous this evening? I'm quite nervous, but I'm fine. You're handling it very well. All right, I will turn this over to another beautiful lady, Miss Charlene Gonzalez-Mula. Hello, Ed Ferlin. Hi. Okay, my question for you is, what do you think is the true measure of success? The true measure of success is, it starts from ourselves. If we know how to value our lives, our family, it's our attitude. Attitude is success. It comes from God. It's all God's for the glory of God. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number 15. And thank you to our judges. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our finalists for the Bini Bini Filipinas 2007. Let's all give them a big round of applause for surviving the grueling question and answer portion. Araneta and the rest of the Philippines, stay tuned because we are moments away from proclaiming three brand new beauty queens here on Bini Bini Filipinas 2007. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to thank our major sponsors, Natasha Everbilena, Bacchus Energy Drink, Smart Communications Incorporated, Philippine Airlines, and Sofitel Philippine Plaza, Manila. Ladies and gentlemen, we will provide our 13 finalists with a little bit of respite from the tension-filled auditorium in this refreshing musical tribute to their beauty and grace. Let's all welcome SOP's newest singing sensation and the country's fast rising balladeer, Mr. Gian Magdangao. <laughs> Silvia, no, a king, princess. 
ba ang hanap mo? Pwede bang katulad ko ang ibig mo? Oh, di mo na kailangan pa pumunta sa The Binibining Pinibinas reigning queens say their final goodbyes when we return. One of the best things in becoming a Binibining Pilipinas title holder is that we have been given that rare chance of representing our country in the best international pageants. This certainly has been a dream come true for me, as well as for other of our reigning queens, who wore their crowns graciously and made us truly proud. So tonight, we say congratulations and thank you to Daniel Lu Valmonte, Binibining Pilipinas International, Lea Andrea Ramos, Binibining Pilipinas Universe, and Ana Maris Igpit, Binibining Pilipinas World. The Philippines has held the Miss International Crown for four times. The first in 1964 by Gemma Teresa Guerrero Cruz, who is now a journalist and president of the Heritage Conservation Society. Her victory was duplicated in 1970 by Aurora McKinney P1, who is now a social activist and staunch advocate of Gawad Kalinga, a foundation for the homeless. In 1979, the title was won by Mimilani Laurel Marquez, who became one of the Philippines' top ramp models and a successful movie star. Since then, it was a long drought for the Philippines in the pageant until 26 years later in 2005 when Binibining Pilipinas' precious Lara Kigaman, with her arresting smile and perfect form, became the winner in one of the largest beauty pageants in the world, Miss International. The Miss International pageant is called a Festival of Beauty or the Olympics of Beauty because contestants serve as ambassadors of peace and beauty, showing not only beauty but friendship and intelligence as well and the ability to take social responsibilities the pageant's mission is summed up in a short phrase to make a difference traditionally the pageant is held in long beach california where it was born until it moved to tokyo beginning 1972 last year however binibining Pilipinas international daniel lu valmonte competed in beijing china in July this year, the contest could go back to Tokyo, where it is usually held. When I was young, I thought my dreams could not be achieved, but I was not afraid to travel into the unknown, to push beyond the limits, to wear the crown of a beauty queen. As Binibining Pilipinas International 2006, I have learned that life is a long race to the finish line, but crossing the finish line is not really as great as the journey towards there. We're making your dreams into reality and fighting for what you believe could give you true happiness. Along the path, I met many significant people who made my life meaningful and happy on my way to the finish. 
So let me mention some of these people who helped me during this journey to success. To thank them for their priceless gift to me. To Madame Estela Marquez de Araneta and my Binibining Pilipinas family for giving me the chance to prove my worth, acknowledging my efforts, and for being my second family during my reign. My endless thanks to Tito Caloy and his family, to Tito Rogel and the rest of the group for their overwhelming support, for believing in me, and encouraging me to go on. A million thanks to the former beauty queens, Karen Agustin, Maan Bayot, Maricar Balagtas, Carlene Aguilar, and Lara Kigaman. Also to Tito Fritz Infante, Dale Carnegie, and Tito Pitoy Moreno, who brought out the best of what I have. To my fellow queens, Lia and Anna, thank you for the friendship. To my loving family, who has been my inspiration and who made me what I am today. Papa, Mama, Ate, thank you for always being there for me. As I pass on this crown, I invite the one who would be wearing it tonight not to forget the valuable lessons that go along with it. Wear it proud, but stay humble. Live with it, enjoy it. And don't forget to make your country proud of what you have become and what you will become. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. The Binibining Filipinas pageant began in 1964. Five years later, Gloria Diaz, the bubbly Binibining Filipinas 1969, won the Miss Universe crown for the first time and put the Philippines on the beauty map of the world. The classy and sophisticated Margarita Moran won the crown again in 1973. Manila hosted the pageant in 1974 and saw Margie relinquishing her crown to her successor right in her own turf. Manila hosted the Miss Universe pageant again in 1994, where Binibining Pilipinas Charlene Bonin Gonzalez made it as a finalist. This year, the pageant will be held at the National Auditorium in Mexico City. Binibining Pilipinas has always been a good contender for the Miss Universe crown. Winning as semi-finalists on different years were Louis Vale Aurelio, Clarinda Soriano, Army Barbara Crespo, Guadalupe Sanchez, and Geraldine de Asis. Chiqui Brosas won as fourth runner-up, and the late Chatsilayan and Desiree Verdadero won on separate years as third runner-up. In 1999, Miriam Kiambao almost became the third Philippines Miss Universe when she was named first runner-up. Binibining Pilipinas is also distinguished as having won the Miss Photogenic Award six times, the last one just last year, by Leah Andrea Ramos. The past year was made lighter by amazing people who helped me pull through. My mom, who gave me unconditional love, generosity, and strength. My dad, Miko, Juno, and Bea, and all my relatives, who supported me and kept my spirits high. Jonas, Nad, Rufa, and Tito Boyet, who spent five years to convince me to join this pageant and successfully transformed this NGO employee into a beauty queen. John Quay, who taught me what discipline is all about. Now I know that with hard work, nothing is impossible. Dr. Rude, Carol, BJ, and my Asia Foundation family, who gave me lessons on how to make a difference in this world. My Panay Extension, The Rats, Block E1, and all my friends, who witnessed my struggles, shared my experience, and cheered me on. Mel Siboku. Skeeter and Ryan, my best friends, who took part in my lifelong journey, endured with me, and allowed my wings to spread so I may soar high. My fellow Davaueños who supported me, I carry your name with pride. Davao City will always be my home. My Binibini sisters, Anna and Daniil, and the past beauty queens, Karen, Maricar, Carla, Maan, Jonah, Carlene, and Lara, who inspired and encouraged me. Finally, Madame Stella Araneta and the Binibining Pilipinas Charities, who opened doors of opportunities that would expand my horizons. Rest assured, I will put my title to good use. During my reign, I met people from all walks of life, here and abroad, 
and became involved in advocacy campaigns for causes close to my heart. Thank you to the organizations and agencies that have trusted me to deliver their messages to the public. To whom much is given, much is expected. I will live by these words for the rest of my life. There's more to accomplish. My real journey has just begun. Daghang salamat at mabuhay tayong lahat. The Miss World pageant began in 1951 and is now the most sought-after title in beauty contests. It has the most number of candidates worldwide and is the largest live animal television event seen in more than 200 countries across the globe. The winner of Miss World lives in London during her reign, which is the jump-off point for her travels around the world. Miss World, like Binibining Pilipinas, is dedicated to charity. Through the beauty pageant, Miss World organization has raised millions of pounds for charitable projects called Beauty with a Purpose. Unlike other beauty competitions that host beauty contestants for two weeks of activities prior to coronation night, Miss World is a month-long extravaganza of preliminary events, dinners, parties, and other social programs. The Philippines has made it as semi-finalists to Miss World with Binibini title holders Carlene Aguilar and Caroline Subihano. Those who made it as finalists were Catherine Manalo, Rafaela Yunon, and Carlo Bautista. Binibining Pilipinas won as second runner-up in 1993, with Rufa Gutierrez doing the honors for her countrymen. Binibining Pilipinas 2006 Anna Maris Igbit, who competed in Poland for Miss World, was named one of the top 20 in beach beauty and in talent competition. She was also one of the top five in a survey that was conducted in Poland. This year, Binibining Pilipinas covets the title of Miss World a would-be first for the Philippines in what is known as the biggest international beauty pageant. Two years ago, I was giving out leaflets to people in the malls and schools to support a friend who was competing in the Miss World Beauty pageant. Who would have known that she would be doing the same for me when I won the crown of Binibini Pilipinas World last year? Life is indeed full of surprises. I would like to thank the people behind Binibini Pilipinas Charities, most especially Mrs. Stella Marquez de Araneta and her husband, Mr. George Araneta, who helped me fulfill my dreams. My loving family, Ma, Pa, Atemay, and Ayan, thank you for always being there for me. Tita Nila Montero and family, who helped me realize my potential. Congressman and Mrs. Edgar Chato, thank you for treating me as part of your family. Chikoy Tumol, Tito Rogel Flores, Tito Kaloy Varela, and my Polish instructor, Mr. Josef Sara. Thank you so much. Of course, to my close friend, Carla Bautista, thank you for inspiring me. My sisters, Leah and Daniil, we have survived, and I'm very proud of you both, and I will always be here for you. To all my good friends, you know who you are. Thank you so much. Sa akong mga isuon sa Cebu, paglabaw sa Tanan, sa akong probinsya sa Bohol, daghan ka ayong salamat. Atong ipadayon ang pagtukod sa talento sa mga Bisaya. I may not have become the first Filipino Miss World, but at 18, I took up the challenge and became the lucky one among 86 million Filipinos to represent the Philippines in one of the most prestigious international beauty pageants. Competing in Warsaw, Poland made me a better woman. It was a dream to fly to Manila and leave my beloved province of Bohol. But winning the crown helped me to bring Bohol to the attention of the people around the world. Mabuhay tayong lahat. Ikang salam. Yabas
Good evening, welcome back. This is the BB Filipinas 2007 and Jonah Miriam Raymond. It has been a fantastic evening. The ladies have been absolutely spectacular. That's right. And this is the moment we've all been waiting for. We shall be announcing the five winners. We're going to have two runners up and, of course, our title holders. That's right. Let's begin. Okay. Everyone's excited. Let's call in Lito Montez from the SGV holding the precious envelope. Let's start off, Raymond. Our 2007 Bini Bini Filipina second runner up. Is candidate number candidate number three, Abigail Leslie Cruz. Presenting the award to Abigail Leslie Cruz, our second runner up is Miss Maan Bayor. Congratulations, candidate number three. I have in my hand the next envelope. Miriam, please do the honors. My pleasure. 2007 Bini Bini Filipinas beauty pageant first runner-up is candidate number 24, Giselle Versus. Presenting the award to Lizelle versus our first runner-up is Miss Karen Agustin. Congratulations, candidate number 24. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Araneta, let me hear it. We shall start out by announcing BB Filipinas International. Jonah, please do the honors. And this year's BB Filipinas International is candidate number 14, Nadia Lee Sien Shami. Presenting the award to Nadia Lee Sien Shami. Bini 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 Binas International is last year's winner, Daniel Lu Valmonte. Congratulations, Nadia. Our new Miss International. Of course, she is beside herself, and that's understandably so. Yes. Having won amidst all of the beautiful ladies we have on stage. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, I have in my hand Filipino Filipinas Universe. Filipinas Universe for 2007 is candidate number nine, Ana Teresa Licaros. Presenting the award to Ana Teresa Licaros, Filipino Filipinas Universe's last year's title holder, Leah Andrea Ramos.
one more title for tonight. And that is for Bidi Bidi Pilipinas World for 2007. And she is candidate number... Candidate number 11, Margaret Wilson! Presenting the crown to Margaret Wilson, Bidi Bidi Pilipinas World is former title holder Anna Maurice A. Pitt. Filipinas International, BB Filipinas World, BB Filipinas Universe for the year 2007. Congratulations, ladies. Congratulations to our winners, and thank you everyone for joining us tonight. We hope you enjoy the show. In behalf of my co-host, Paula Bignones, Raymond Gutierrez, and John Cabrera, this is Miriam Kiambao. We look forward to seeing you next year for the Philippines' number one beauty search, Bini 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 2008. Good night. We'd also like to thank our judges for tonight. Thank you so much for making wonderful choices. Good job, judges. Good. Let's give them a round of applause. Everyone, once again, BB Filipinas Universe, BB Filipinas World, BB Filipinas International for year 2007. Congratulations, ladies, and to everyone here at Alameda. Please drive home safely, get home safely. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Miriam, Raymond, and Jonah, thank you for a wonderful evening. It's been an honor hosting with the three of you. Pleasure, buddy. Good job.